Hey boys and girls in the YouTube world, you know all you reloaders out there and guys who like to shoot them up a lot. You're in for a bit of shock here the last couple of weeks, aren't you, huh? The loonies went nuts and then the legislators who are loony in their own right all come out and they want to ban every firearm we own. Of course, that'll never happen because it's from your cold dead hands, right? Well, while you're thinking about that. I had a customer come by the house this morning, he picked, hit me up on an email, and he wanted to get into reloading for his, he's got a black rifle in 223 or, and it'll also handle the 5.56 uh, military spec ammo. He come up, he's got a 40 Smith and Wesson, I sold him a nice, really nice set of uh, three, three die redding set with a full length sizer and a shell holder. He took the RCBS Smith and Wesson dies that I had listed online for sale. <clears throat> I threw him in a bag of 40 Smith & Wesson brass. It was federal once fired brass. I let him have it for 10 bucks. Uh, he got a nice RCBS rock chucker press. I got to give him a lube pad, a bottle of lube, uh, some little brushes and doodads to clean with. We talked. I tossed in the Lee hand loading book because I felt that that was a pretty good book. I gave him a brand new Lee hand priming tool. Uh, because I didn't like the RCBS tool that I picked up when I bought all this stuff. I noticed it didn't have any plungers in it today, and I said, oh, what the hell. I'll give the guy a brand new Lee tool that will last him the rest of his life. So we were digging around, <clears throat> and, you know, like always, I got a lot of brass for sale. And, you know, I got a few odds and ends. You know, guys pick up boxes or they'll shoot their buddy 7 millimeter. And um, so, you know, what I got here is I got a handful of 7mm uh, brass cases and some Sierra bullets. You know, the bag it says uh, some millimeter mag brass, uh, 175 grain. I got 16 bullets. I got some 140 grain bullets. I got 22 of those. They're all Bowtail Spitzer. I got 25 pieces of seven mag brass. I've got this listed on Golden Broker. I think I'm asking like maybe 28 bucks. And you know, it's like 20 bucks for the lot and eight dollars for shipping. Trust me, a lot of times these guys are, the post office and FedEx are making more on me than shipping. All right, I mean, in the last three days I had a hundred twenty some odd dollar uh, shipping bill, which, of course, you, the customer, you pay for that. So, you know, neither one of us are getting anything out of that. <clears throat> I've got a bunch of 223 brass. I've got this bag right here. This is 271 pieces of Hornady 223 brass. So this is commercial brass. I'm going to say the majority of it is once fired brass. I noticed there's a different color primer in some of them, so I'm going to say maybe that's he's the person I got this off of reloaded it and shot it once before. This is 271 pieces. <clears throat> I got a bag of Lake City and Aguila brass right here. That's the mill stuff. <clears throat> I got another little bag of Lake City and Aguila with the mill crimp. Okay. I got another bag right here. This is mixed brass. I don't know what it is. Oh, look, there's a 308 piece in there. I'll have to throw that in my other box. And then I got this bag of brass right here. It's marked Hornady. But, you know, I looked through it, and there's various sizes in there, of, or manufacturers, I should say, and, uh, and all of that. So, you know, I was offering this brass. I got this brass on the Internet, 100 bucks shipped. It's like 1,100 pieces. I want 100 bucks shipped. All right, and I'm gonna look at it's $15. You know, it's gonna cost me $15. I mean, the last time I sold any 223 brass, I was selling it for you know 10 cents a piece, mixed manufacture, and uh, you pay shipping. So you're getting 1,100 pieces of brass here for 100 bucks. That's under 10 cents a piece. And I'm gonna ship it out to you. All right, that'll include everything I just showed you. All right. All the 223 brass, and I'll ship it out in a post office flat rate box, okay? Now, I'm moving over here. <clears throat> 308 brass. All right. I don't know how many pieces I have here, but it's quite a few. So I got these, I got a couple of these in here, all right? I got this great big bag of 308 brass here. All right. In fact, that bag feels like it weighs maybe about 10 pounds. Okay. 
I got two of these MTM case boxes. They got 308 brass in them. So we're going to pretty much say that most of this brass is once and two times fired brass. Okay. I think the majority of it, though, is once fired because I'm not looking at a lot of primer changes here. I got Winchester brass, 308. I got Federal cartridge. I got uh, Hornady. Some more wins. So I got to mix a lot of 308 brass here. All right. This fits in. A, to give you an idea how much it is here, I've got it in a, in a large flat rate post, postal box. I was asking $130 shipped. All right, so I know you're going to be getting, there's got to be over 500 pieces of brass here. $130 shipped, you know, make the check out the Black Powder Bill, or Black Powder Bill's Reloading Supplies. You can find me on the internet at www.blackpowderbill.com. That's where my blog is. I got some reloading supplies and stuff I offer there, some opinions, some special news releases, like, you know, like the the Feld Entertainment, which is Ringling Brothers, Brothers Circus, went after uh, the ASPCA for uh, dragging them through court, saying that they had abused their elephants and animals. Well, it was found that they didn't abuse their animals. And then under the RICO statutes, Feld Entertainment came back and sued the ASPCA, the HSUS. There's a whole list. They just won a $9.3 million lawsuit against the ASPCA. So the ASPCA is going to have to pay that to Feld Entertainment, it, it might just about cover the attorney's fees. Of course, by the time they get done, I hope they take the HSUS, rake them over to Kohl's. I hope they take the HSUS for every nickel in their budget, every nickel in their savings account. I want them to break that organization. You can find this stuff on my blog at www.blockpowderbill.com. You can find me at on gunbroker.com as BPBRS. And on Auction Arms is Black Powder Bill Reloading. I don't have a lot of stuff on Auction Arms, a few things here and there. I would like to thank the customer that come by today. I've had a very good uh, month for as far as sales go. I haven't jacked my prices up like some of the other people have. My stuff's pretty much the same price. In fact, the guy that walked out the door today actually paid less than, than, what he, than a lot of the stuff I had on the Internet. <clears throat> one because you know I'm not including shipping so I backed that out for him I got a few more things I'm going to do another video here I might even attach it to this one I still have the Sierra 44 mag bullets I can't believe those seven boxes of bullets haven't sold yet at $25 a box that's just amazing you know 240 grain bullet 0.4295 diameter they're good bullets I you know what are you guys sitting and waste waiting for I got a little 44 mag, a little bag of 44 mag brass. I could probably let that go for about 20 bucks. There's several hundred pieces in there. Guys, it's not getting cheaper. And all your friends that voted for this guy the second time around, he's going to make it even go more. And it's going to get, it's not going to get scarce. It's just not going to be around. Don't wait for the gun shows because them guys are going to rake you over to coals. Everybody and their brother is going to be out there selling every piece of crap they can. All right. Give me a call. Give me a shout. I got a lot of really good used dies. Hop on gunbroker.com. You know, shipping's going to go up here in a couple of days, boys. Five, six percent, it's going to go up. Again, this is Black Powder Bill at blackpowder.com. I'm out, and, uh, you know, I figure, hey, you know, the antis hate these, these guys that sell guns and firearms out of their kitchens. So, you know, maybe I'll change my change the name. I'll change, you know, Black Powder Bill's... Uh, you know, what we cooking in the kitchen? Guns and reloading. Hey, it's a recipe. If It's a recipe for success, and it's worked for me. Give me a shell. I'll take care of you. Out.